Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. In today's video, I am going to be giving you guys my review of the Parrot Mini Drone Rolling Spider. And a big thanks to Octoly and Parrot for sending this out for review. And I wasn't the only one. There's like a bunch of people getting these things for review. Uh, but when I saw this on my door, I was like, yes, because I always wanted a drone. And so this is a mini drone, obviously, and it's really only this big. It's not big at all. And so it's not going to be carrying a camera around or anything, but it does have a camera on the bottom. Um, but it has indoor outdoor capabilities, a range of 20 meters or 66 feet. It can do flips, smartphone control, controlled by Bluetooth. And there's just some more information here on the back. Um, it can actually move on the ground and it can fly. And so there's a lot of different ways you can set it up. And so this drone, I have so many mixed feelings about this because it's really cool. And everybody I show it to is like, like this thing is awesome, man. And they want to fly it. And upon giving them instruction, it's pretty easy for people to learn and how to you know, pick up the phone and learn how to fly it when I, when I tell them how to do it. But the problem is that with the Android app, it doesn't work with Lollipop devices very well. The app works, but all the icons are missing. Uh, really though, that's kind of been the worst experience with this. And uh, when I first got it though, I was actually pretty much lost it. Um, we were flying it outside and I was like, you know, family members around like, let's see how high it can go. And I'm like, you know, okay. And they're like, do it. And of course, you know, peer pressure from your family, what's better than that? So off it goes, you know, we send it up and then it just keeps going up and I press to come back down and it just, it keeps going up until it was like a speck in the sky and it was flying with the birds. Um, I thought it was gone and I was starting to freak out a little bit, but it came back and it crashed in the field and it was fine. Um, so that's a good thing though. It can survive a huge crash um, from very high up and not get damaged. But uh, a software update seems to have fixed that because there's a flight limit um, and a height limit established with inside the actual drone when it takes off. Uh, the minimum, not the minimum, but the default is three meters and it can go up to like 10. Um, but the default was not in place at that time. But I had to manually update this because I was having terrible time connecting the Bluetooth phone and not just my phone, Summer's phone as well, to this thing, it wouldn't dis it would disconnect, it wouldn't connect, it was just a pain in the neck. So I had to plug this in manually, download the update and apply it to it. And since then I haven't had any trouble uh, as far as when it starts connecting. But I do seem to have some issues though with my phone trying to find the, uh, the Android, the mini drone. But once it finds it, it connects it with no problem now. One of the biggest complaints about this drone online is that the battery life is horrendous. But I mean, you can't really expect a lot for a battery that's like not very big at all. Uh, this is all the bigger the battery is. And they actually sent me on a spare one so I could swap them out um, after one dies. And you do get about five to eight minutes um, depending on what you're doing and how fast you're making the propellers rotate, stuff like that. Um, if you're using the, the wheels or if you're flying it. Uh, so it varies. But uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting a solid five to eight minutes. I haven't had my battery drain to like one minute after a couple uses. But most drones of this size and even a little bit bigger, the battery life's not awesome. That's just a, a limit right now on the technology with drones is that their battery life isn't infinite and it's not going to be for two hours per or powering this stuff because there's a lot of like torque going in these little propellers. If you stick your hand underneath it, it feels like an air conditioner blowing on you. So there's a lot of energy being sent through this thing. Um, but as far as flying it, um, it, it, it's fun. I mean, it is, it is fun once you figure out how to actually work it. Um, now one little issue I have is that once it gets so far out, I have a hard time seeing which ends the front and which ends the back, especially when it's really sunny out and it's glaring. And I'm like, is that thing going further away from me or is it coming closer to me? Um, and so that's one little issue I had. I know there's little eyes on the front of the globe, but when it's daylight and it's 30 feet away, you can't see nothing. Um, and I did get it stuck in a tree though, but that was completely my fault, not the fault of the drone. Um, but I didn't know which direction it was going. So I kind of flew it right into a tree at the top of the tree. Um, but as far as, you know, using it, it is fun. You know, battery life might be an issue for some people, but you know, all in all, it's not a bad introductory drone. I haven't actually got to use the camera on this thing because I have no idea how to do it. Um, there are the icons on my app don't work, like I said. And so there's no way for me to function throughout the app and figure out how to take pictures. Uh, but from the pictures that I saw online, they're not great at all. They're very blurry, um, very low resolution. It's just more of a thing like, hey, look, I'm taking my picture with a drone. And it's nothing like a GoPro quality or anything like that. But for $80, it's not bad. Um, there are other options out there, which I have not used. 
but this is the only option I have used, and I, I enjoy it. It's fun, but it's not the most efficient, and it may be not be the best drone out there. Um, some of the comments that I got from my family when I showed it to them are, that's cool, let me try, fly it as high as you can, let's see how fast it goes, make it do a trick, and I'll shoot it with a shotgun if it comes into my yard. <laughs> um, that's just some of the things that were said about it. And so a lot of people do like it. They think it's pretty cool and it is cool. Some of them don't have very good reviews. You know, it's a mixed review. Some people have great luck with them. Some people have bad luck with them. Well, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Like I said, I enjoy it. And if you want something just to fly around and have some fun, this isn't a bad choice. And so, like I said, let me know what you think about it down in the comment section below. Let me know if you own it or if you own any of the other pair of drones or any other drones in general. And what drone would you recommend to somebody who's looking to get into the market and not spend their whole entire life savings on a drone? And so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos from me. Check out all the social links. They're down in the description below. And so thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.